Captain Lamo. <laughs> what a Reddit name. All right, sorry, I got close. Okay, so we're at the reception part of the evening. Mom is talking to bridesmaid and brackets, no one knows what prompted this, says to her, quote, well, I guess it's a good thing you can't have kids, isn't it? Bridesmaid bursts into tears. What the heck? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Some people just like don't know not to say things, you know? Some people just don't have a filter. Some people don't think before they speak. That's the real issue. <laughs> Two moms got into a verbal argument, then it because, oh, then it became physical. I don't know who makes the accusation, but one said they're only getting married because she's knocked up. <gasps> the tea. If I was at that wedding, again, I would feel good about the money I spent to be there. When it, like, even just being a guest, you know, it, it costs money. It's not a lot of money. I'm not saying it's like the cost of a wedding, but like it costs money to go to someone's wedding normally. And again, I would say money well spent. Does anybody have popcorn? Pour another glass of wine. I'm ready for this argument. <laughs> Better than most reality shows. I'm not gonna lie. My dad, okay, first of all, this Reddit username is steroid sandwich. <laughs> my dad taking pictures at my brother's wedding. It doesn't sound bad, but he was getting in the way of the photographer my brother hired. Every pic he tried to take, my dad was right beside him, inching him out and pushing him out of the way. My brother and mom were both really pissed at him. I didn't realize, but that's apparently like a huge problem at weddings, like huge. I I'm gonna say like, I'll probably never get married, but if I do get married, I'll say like, guys, everyone's gonna get photos. Don't take your own, okay? We, I paid good money for somebody else to get these. I'll make sure you get one to post on your little Instagram. Don't you worry. I want everyone to see. Why did I spend all this money if no one's gonna see it? Don't worry. <laughs> Me, why did I spend all this money if no one's gonna see it? Everyone else in the world to get married to the person you love? I'm like, mm -mm, purely a publicity stunt. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, Taylor. Bama Lamb. <laughs> Number five from Bama Lamb. The usher was handing out little pamphlets and as he did, would let every single person know that he had just gotten engaged recently. <laughs> That's the sweetest thing in the world. Are you kidding me? I would love that. I would be so happy for him. Oh my gosh, I would love that. Honestly, I don't think I'd mind that. I think that I would be like, that's really, really nice and very, very cute. I'm glad he's excited. Come on, let the man live. It's supposed to be a happy day. It's better than somebody starting drama. It's better than somebody telling someone else that good thing you can't have kids or somebody else saying, well, they're only getting married because she's knocked up. I'm like, yeah, this guy gets it. It's a day of happiness. We can all share the happiness. You know what I mean? I like that. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. My uncle got completely plastered at our open bar and then demanded the attention of the entire dance floor. Oh no. Everyone stopped and stared as he pulled his trousers all the way down, walked backwards and called it the moonwalk. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And people want to be upset that the usher was telling people he got engaged as he handed out the pamphlets. I would be upset about this. This is something that you go, I knew we shouldn't have invited Uncle Gary. <laughs> oh, anybody got an Uncle Gary out there who would do something like this? Probably. There's gotta be someone. <laughs> My cousin's wedding, the groom's drunk brother got into a fist fight with the bride's son during the reception, which was held on church property. Oh no, that is not good. That is not good. Honestly, I'll take drunk Uncle Gary over this. This is, <laughs> this video has just turned into like a, would you rather? <laughs> I would rather have Uncle Gary moonwalk than have people fighting, you know? Someone bit the DJ because he refused to play a certain song. <laughs> oh God. Sometimes they don't wanna play jail part two. I don't know what to tell you. Been there, experienced it. It's tragic, but they're the DJ, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, someone bit the, imagine biting someone. Just, just leave it at that. No reason, just imagine biting another human being. Are you a baby? My ex crashed my wedding. She showed up and I had to have security kick her out because she wouldn't leave and my wife was fuming. 
rightfully so. Three years later, when she got married, I was there. I brought two friends and we made a scene. Revenge sucks. We did also get kicked out, but whatever. I wanted to ruin her day like she ruined mine. That is a level of petty that, listen, this is, might be an unpopular opinion, but I aspire to be that petty. And that's what happens. Actions have consequences. I was gonna say mistakes have consequences, but that wasn't a mistake. You decided to do that. Actions have consequences. And sometimes those consequences come three years later. The mother of the groom literally got up, pushed the bride out of the way and told the groom, the bride's not good enough for you. I set you up on eight dates this month and they're all perfect. And then she continued to drunkenly scream at them. It was especially crazy because the families had been friends for decades. What do you mean it was especially crazy because of that? I'm like, the whole thing is insane. The mother of, what the heck? Oh gosh, why do people think the wedding is the time to speak up? Assuming this person got married in their late 20s, early 30s, you had all of that time to tell them who you think that they should marry and you chose their wedding day at the wedding? Just seems like you had a, lo a large window of opportunity and you chose the worst time. Ex-girlfriend of the groom showed up at the wedding uninvited and drunk. He broke up with her 10 years earlier and has not seen her in over eight years. She was loud and saying very perverted things about what she wanted to do to the groom. The bride steps up, goes all out and punches the ex in the face, knocks the ex out cold. I want everyone to know that I would 1000% do the exact same thing. Also, what a great wedding story. You KO'd somebody on your wedding day in your nice fancy dress? Money well spent, that's all I'm saying. I'd pay more to see that than I would a Jake Paul fight. <laughs> A drunk ex-uncle, an <laughs> ex-uncle, holy. <laughs> a drunk ex-uncle showed up to my cousin's wedding and made her dance with him, interrupting the bride and groom's first dance. He was not invited. Oh, that's so bizarre. That's very weird. Apparently if I ever get married, I need to hire a security team because everyone's just showing up at these weddings. bad that bride looks so upset i mean like rightfully so but like oh my god again you have so much time to air your grievances why now why when we're at the altar when we're saying i do is not the time to bring up your opinion during his speech the divorced father of the groom started going on and on about how much better his new wife was compared to his old wife oh my god Sir, this is not your wedding, okay? Save that for your wedding. Well, I guess you already got married, but anyway, you had your chance to talk about how great your new wife is, okay? Wow, what a, what a mess, I almost cursed. My apologies, what a mess. AITA for gate crashing my ex's wedding and causing the marriage to get annulled. Oh my gosh, everyone sucks. My ex's wedding was in February. I found out about it from his grandmother, we're close, and she suggested I gate crash. I was interested in going because I wanted to find some closure and still wasn't over him, so I said yes. Why would you say yes? The day came, I snuck in and watched the ceremony. I was ready to leave, but his grandmother pushed me to go to the reception as well. Pretty awkward, but I went. I was mingling with the family when the bride and groom came. They greeted and she congratulated me on the visible pregnancy. I thanked her and said I couldn't wait to co-parent with the two of them. Turns out she didn't know I was five months pregnant with his kid the whole time. She lost her shit and ran out. Whoa, dude, that is a lot. First off, how do you not know that? You know, like how has this dude not come out and said like, hey, like also having a child with this other woman, you know, like that one chick who like I was dating. Yeah, like she is gonna have my baby. So you should probably know that. And number two, the grandmother. Like this grandmother is here to start some stuff, man. Like, I don't know what you were on granny, but like this is not the time to be bringing this person here, you know, like holy, there's a lot going on there.
So Boris, BC, one year ago, probably about 20 years ago now, I was cycling around the lake here in Canberra and riding through one of the garden areas and I see some cops hauling away a gardener. I was all like, that's weird, but okay. Later on, I found out it was the groom's ex. She disguised herself as a gardener, gotten close to the bride and thrown manure at her? Crazy stuff, oh my gosh thrown manure at her. That is insanity, man. Like, I feel so bad. In your wedding gown, too. Like, in your wedding gown that you probably either rented for, like, obscene amount of money or, like, bought for more obscene amount of money. That is horrible. That is truly horrible. And she dressed up, too. She, she really played the part as a gardener. Oh, my goodness. That's commitment. Oh, boy. What is this? What is this? Like this just looks all bad man like this is just like this is just horrible This is just like people at their most vulnerable like desperate places right now If this is real which is like you know saying something right now because like how do you capture something like this on camera? You know but like if this is real like holy moly this is messed up. How did you get here, dude? How did all of you get here? <laughs> Oh. oh goodness. Oh no. Yeah, that's not gonna end well for anyone. That's just not gonna end well for anyone. What? Oh, it's still going. Why is it the wedding? You know what I mean? Why is it that you chose to do this on the wedding? Like, there were so many other days that this could have been done. And I'm not saying, like, I don't know the whole backstory here. Like, maybe you got screwed over. Like, maybe you really got screwed over here. But, like, why the wedding? You know? Like, it could have been done so much better, I think. My opinion. <laughs> Oh boy. We're calling them out. You're not gonna ruin my day. We're calling them out. <laughs> wow. Everybody has flaws and that's why I love them. You can leave, yeah. Judy. Like you don't have flaws. You can leave. You can oh. get out of my wedding now. I'm not leaving. That dress you're wearing, I paid for. Wow. Man, this is their day. This is their day. Like, why, why? You know, it's like, I get it, you were hurt. You you went through some stuff. This was traumatic for you, but this is their day, you know? It's like, dude, hit them up on their honeymoon. Hit them up on like pre, like bachelor party, but like not on the wedding day. Come on, man. Aloha. Oh, we Aloha. got some Karens in the wild. Like, this is the beach and the beach is closed. I hate it. This is the beach. This is the beach and the beach is closed. And how many, you know, you're always doing this for money. You know? Hey, don't bush us. Don't bush us. You guys get a vacation home, which is illegal. Vacation home, illegal. Oh, all right, folks. So I'm gonna be honest. I missed out on the volume there. I felt like the volume was very critical in that time period because I did not hear what that guy was saying about or that woman, like what they were talking about there. Um, so please let me know in the comments down below what was going on there. I can only speculate that uh, that like buddy behind the camera, whoever that was, has some sort of beef with number one, who he was talking to off the top. Like, there's got to be some sort of history there. But let me know in the comments down below. And this is the part where the minister says. If anyone knows any reason why these two should not be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Cheat at 4 p.m. That's James' ex-girlfriend, Karen. Linda is not who you think she is. Oh, Looks like oh. Karen couldn't hold we fight. peace for we a second. We can throw down? Well, what's going on? Oh, I wanted to see the throwdown. I'm gonna see the throwdown. Not that you should be fighting people, guys. I'm not trying to condone that, but like, you know, kind of wanted to see the throwdown. I thought that you were gonna reveal more about Linda. Like, I was kind of hoping that Linda was like gonna be some secret spy agent. Like, you don't, like, you, Linda's not who she says she is. She's actually like a secret agent. And then like, you know, cops come flying in and it's like, woo, like crazy stuff. You know, it's like just the no moral thing. I was like, ah, okay, yeah, fine, whatever. 
love him, comfort him, honor, and obey him. You know, Anthony, you, you act like you don't know me. Wait, you didn't take your sight meds today? And, and you got it on my And I got your baby here. Hope. Anthony, I know you hear me. You better get oh, out of my Oh, 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 man. Oh boy. So once again, guys, the audio actually cut out for me there. I can't hear the bottom. So I don't know what they were saying, but I saw the reaction. So that must have been major. The fact that they, like this woman was going after it. Like we throw something and we're following up with the big hit. So wow, that uh, that really got them riled up. This is crazy. I, these, I actually really vibe with this video. This is pretty fun. God. At a wedding of all places? Just not the time, lady. It's never the time to say that to someone. What the heck? I didn't mean that. Of course I didn't mean that. Coffee break. Ooh, we got a video, number 12. In three, two. Okay, the world is ending outside. I don't know if you can hear that. It's so loud. It might be a train. I'm just gonna give it a second to pass. It's so loud. I hope you can hear it or else I just sound insane. Oh, one second. Chris, how do you say that name? Canberra. Because that's in Australia, I think. Yeah, apparently it's the capital city of Australia. I didn't even know. Can you believe that? Interesting. Anyways, 